New York houses some of the most famous Christmas spots in the world, and there are some amazing new destinations that just popped up that need to be on your radar. We're talking everything from holiday-themed drinks to magical winter wonderlands. Today, I'm excited to share with you the coolest new attractions New York has to offer for the winter holidays. Let's dive in. One of the top questions I get as a New York host is what is the best ice skating rink during the holidays? And only one puts you right under the Brooklyn Bridge. We're gonna check out the new Glide at Brooklyn Bridge Park. Starting at $25 for New York City residents for admission and skate rental, $30 is the start price for non-New York City residents. You know, when I was in middle school, I took a few ice skating lessons. Never did I expect thousands of strangers on the internet to watch me. Oh, a lot of pressure. All right, here it goes. Hey, this is pretty cool. You get some fun photos like this. This is the million dollar view here. Manhattan Bridge, Empire State Building. It's actually cool, you just, you put your head up and you realize that there's people walking and driving right up there. This is gonna get more popular as December rolls around. So definitely try to pre-book this if you can. How to burn your marshmallow 101. I never thought I'd be eating s'mores literally underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. This is like every little kid's dream come true. Plenty of food and drink up here to keep you warm for a long time. Not as crowded in Dumbo at night, okay? And this whole area, a perfect breath of fresh air if you're hanging out on Fifth Ave, visiting New York for the first time. You know, make it a, a point to come here and ice skate under the Brooklyn Bridge and enjoy some good food too. Pink Wonderland opening December 1st is any Instagrammers and TikTokers dream. If you like taking pictures, if you like pink, if you like holiday themed drinks, this is the spot for you. Of course, because it's a holiday video, got Adriana. Hi back guys. on the channel. What do you think of this? Wow, it's so pink. <laughs> I love it. I pink is my favorite color, so of course I like this place a lot. And I'm super ready to take a lot of pictures. Even have nice cubbies, don't want to ruin your photos with your bulky jacket, just throw them in here. Drinks start at $18, and my personal favorite on this list is I'm a Grinch before my coffee because I really am. It would be very naughty to drink this as a shot. I think you have to more enjoy this, no? Definitely. Wow. It's kind of like a milkshake. A delicious milkshake, but with alcohol. Just a hint of alcohol in there. Perfect amount of alcohol. <laughs> I'm not usually a shot person, but I can make an exception for this. This is so good. Also has chocolate. And this is not just a spot for cocktails. You have a huge menu, of like every type of bar food imaginable. They just gave us the whole spread, basically. We don't have enough appetite to eat all this. Thank you. Imagine this thing actually moved. This could be a ride. I mean, if you have enough of this, it's probably gonna move. If you're interested in buying tickets, See the link in the description starting at $35 for admission. And this is running through the rest of December. Since this is a holiday guide, thank you to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. And I am one of the worst gift givers ever, but this holiday season, treat yourself or a loved one to a quality shave with Harry's. I've got the starter set right here. Let's take a look inside. A five blade German engineered razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover. I'm someone that typically uses an electric shaver. I can get used to this. I consider this for the boyfriends out there, husbands, dads, brothers, or for yourself if you just want to try something new. And Harry's just launched a special holiday gift set. This is Dressed to the Nines, featuring some of their favorite products in a limited edition all black gift box, nice enough to go right under the tree. No wrapping required. This gift set is available for a limited time on harrys.com. Check off all the guys on your list with a Harry starter set. First time buyers get the starter set for only $5. That's a $13 value for only five bucks. See my link down below in the description, harrys.com forward slash here be bar. The majority of holiday attractions in New York are Christmas themed. This one though celebrates Hanukkah. We're gonna check out Maccabee Bar, which is having their longest run yet at Ali in the West Village. I'm Naomi Levy, I'm the founder of Maccabee Bar. 
Uh, Maccabee Bar came from, honestly, me loving the holiday season. I love Christmas, I love the holidays, but you know, it's not what I grew up in. I always kind of felt like a tourist um, and I also felt a little left out. So I thought, well, what if one of these cool, fun holiday pop-up bars popping up was just dedicated to Hanukkah? First time both of us have ever been in a Hanukkah bar, right? Yeah, when he told me about it, I was totally in. And I have to say, this menu is one of the most creative I have ever seen. I mean, some of my favorites, we got the Hebrew hammer, we have the Jewish Christmas, which is old fashioned Chinese and a movie. This is really good. What are you looking at here? I'm gonna order the oh, oh, white and I. And it's perfect for her tequila and mezcal. All right, and this is really cool. If you can't decide, spin the dreidel to choose your drink. Exactly, so each drink corresponds to a different side of the dreidel. So okay. whatever you spin, you'll see it line up with one of the drinks. Well, I'll take my chance. All right. So that is the Shin Shin Put One In. This is the Oi What A Night Thank for you. you. Look at this. My drink even has a little Hanukkah gelt on the side. Cheers. Cheers. So these are our sweet potato latkes served with a sour cream and honey Dijon. Ooh, a really cool menu here. You got your latkes, like you have the perfect Hanukkah food all available to you. And there's no cover charge to come in here, which I think is fantastic. But you do need to make reservations as soon as possible because they will fill up fast, I promise you. As somebody Jewish, I think it's fantastic that a Hanukkah bar actually exists in New York and you do not have to be Jewish to come here. Or if you are Jewish, bring your non-Jewish friends here. You can show some of your culture off. Even for me with Adriana, you know, I'm showing her some things that she didn't know about. Like, did you know about dreidels at all before we were here? I saw them, but I didn't know what it meant. I think I was more excited about the Hanukkah bar than the Christmas bars. Maybe because I've done Christmas my whole life. Yeah. For me, Hanukkah is something new and I'm always excited about it. If you want an even more comprehensive look at the holidays in New York, consider our thatch guides. I break down just about every single Christmas holiday attraction the city has to offer. Give it a look in the description. Normally when you hear the words Coney Island, you think of the summer, the beach, the boardwalk. But for the first time ever, Luna Park is now transformed into Frostfest, New York's only amusement park winter experience. And I'm really excited to check this out. The cyclone is open now in the winter. If it's been your dream to ride it, you can come now. You know, as far as bringing your kids to the city, this has got to be up there on the list of attractions. You always wanted to go to Coney Island, but you couldn't make it in the summer. Look at this opportunity you have. It's amazing because in summer, this place is absolutely jam-packed. And I think word is just getting out about Frostfest, so I can imagine this is going to be super popular as well. We have chocolate chip cookies, we have cookies for Santa. We're actually known for our panettone. Panettone is an Italian holiday bread. And this is our Nutella panettone. It's oh. my personal favorite. Okay. Would you like a chocolate dip cannoli or a classic cannoli? The chocolate. Alright. It can only get better from here. Check this out. Seripani. Getting a cannoli during the holidays in Brooklyn. Mm. It's good. Crispy plantains. This is the kind of hearty food you want to eat to stay warm in a market like this. Mm. Nice couple mixing the Caribbean and Puerto Rican influence with their food. Apparently I'm tall enough. These rides are for kids or people who are kids at heart. All right, that was a little bit faster than it looked from the ground, but it was fun. And this looks like the most festive stand here, so we've got to try it. We had to run uh, in the pouring rain to eat this lovely bratwurst. I mean, some like German influence at a holiday market. How fitting. Keeping it hearty and festive. You know, growing up, going to the Jersey Shore, fried Oreos. I mean, this is perfectly combining the holiday spirit with the boardwalk spirit. I'm struggling to think of many better holiday attractions for the whole family than Frostfest. I, I'm so impressed by this, guys. So impressed.
Three, two, one. Oh, no. Oh, man. This is frustrating and gratifying at the same time, too. Definitely. Ooh. And we got a winner. Got a winner. Right, which one would you like? Which one would you like? Let's go with Superman. Superman, all right. Looks a little bit like me. That's why I picked him. I have to say, this is such a fantastic idea. This is the first time in 120 years that Luna Park is open for the holidays. I feel like every amusement park in the country could follow this lead. What kind of winter wonderland amusement park wouldn't have Santa waiting for you? Merry Christmas. Have you been good this year? I've been okay. All right, I have still a little time left. Yeah, yeah, a little time. And uh, what would you like for Christmas, young man? I'd like a million YouTube subscribers. Ooh, a million YouTube subscribers. We have to get you some good content. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> exactly. Hello, it's Santa here. And hello to all of you out here and here be more. Merry Christmas. Really important note, Frostfest is only open on weekends. That's Friday through Sundays from 12 to 8 p.m. with the exception of Christmas week. And you can check their calendar at this link right here. If you can, try to come after dark because when this place gets all lit up, it's even more beautiful. We just had no choice due to the weather today. A couple of bonus attractions. Opening in Flatiron and Nomad is something called Winter Glow. Now you can find all details here at this website. They've got free pop-up programming, like a tree lighting at Madison Square Park on the 6th of December and from November 30th to January 1st. Control no control, a large-scale interactive installation in the form of a minimalistic structure will be on display. This was created back in 2011 in Montreal for Igloo Fest. It's been presented over 35 times around the world. If you're looking to immerse yourself in stars, Astra Lumina just opened out in the Queen's Botanical Garden and from the looks of it, very interesting. It's an enchanted night walk in a beautiful botanical garden. Time out in New York called it cosmically mesmerizing. You'll be immersed in the magic of projections, lots of great photo ops, and Google reviews already has it at 4.5. $35 for adults, 25 bucks for the kids. You can take the LIRR directly to Flushing from Penn Station in just 20 minutes, and from there, it's a 15 minute walk. Now that you know what's new in New York for the holidays, in this video, we show you Christmas in New York, just about every single other holiday attraction is in this guide. It's very comprehensive. Head here next.